Hello everyone. It is almost time for us to go on our well-deserved holiday. Um, we are now uh, busy with provisioning. As you can see, I am filling up the boat with some non-perishables. Rob is outside, barely seeable because the sun is shining, uh, doing some chores. Tiger is helping in its own way. Hi Tiger. We are getting ready to go on our holiday and uh, the boat is almost packed with stuff. We did some chores. We um, we did some um, well some minor changes and some somewhat bigger changes to the boat and I think we're almost ready and we are really feeling up to it. We're going to uh, make it a nice holiday. Okay, I opened up the water tank to clean it out for our big trip and much to my surprise look at what it looks like. It's not really bad. It's actually quite clean but there's some, I don't know, there's something on the bottom. I don't know what it is, but that has to come out because that can clog the filter. So I'm going to drain the water, clean it out, and then uh, flush it maybe two times, I don't know. And then it's it's good to go. I have to clean out the, the sides here. And I'm going to try and find the ontluchter. I don't know the English word for it, but to, to let air out when you fill the water tank. And it's clogged, I think. So I have to declog it. I'll just go and find out if I can do that. So, draining it. What a thing. Almost empty. We are done with the water tank, everything is in place again, nice and clean, and the sound you hear is Rob filling the tank up from outside. There he is. And of course we did some other chores and we'll show you right now. You're the reason for these pieces, oh, now something's missing, love. You're the reason, you're the reason, oh, to keep it up for love. Cause you're the reason for these pieces, maybe someday I'll give up. But I can't move on, you're never gone, no. Oh. Hi, welcome on board. Uh, today I'm on board uh, all by myself. Jaup is not here because she is uh, learning how to sail even better than she already does. Um, I'm on board this weekend to install new winches 
Um, I'm replacing these two. So that one and the one over there. They're not self tailors, and uh, well, we want self tailors. I will replace them by two of these very nice hardened winches, self tailors and all. So, yeah, wish me luck. <laughs> Okay, I just found out that the holes really, really, really don't match. It was kind of wishful thinking, but they don't match. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill them all up with epoxy. But the holes aren't very clean, so I will drill them out a little bit. These are 6 millimeters. I'll drill them out to uh, 10 and then fill them up with uh, epoxy and then drill new holes again. Okay, so after the uh, epoxy set, I drilled in the, uh, the holes and I aligned the, uh, the bolts, which is uh, not very easy because it's uh, a thick roof. Anyways, it turned out that I was quite successful. It's on the roof again and now I need to decide um, since it's a self-tailing winch, I need to decide where the um, line comes out. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it comes right into the cockpit. This makes a lot of sense. Cool. Victory! Thanks for watching everyone, please leave a comment below and give us a thumbs up if you liked this video. You can subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you don't miss it when a new episode is out. Bye!